you're seeking happiness, you want consolation, look at the face of Jesus Christ. And the faith of Jesus Christ is the face of the mercy of the Father. Santa Teresa de Avila had an apparition of the devil who appeared like Jesus. And uh, the voice was the voice of Jesus. The face was the face of Jesus. And the, the, everything seemed like Jesus. But only after a few seconds, Santa Teresa exclaimed, You are not my Lord. And the devil said, How do you know? You are the devil. How do you know? And Santa Teresa said, You have no wounds. My Lord has wounds. Those wounds are wounds of love. You have no wounds. You have never loved. People who love get wounded. But people who love and are wounded never give up with mercy. That is the joy of mercy. The Indians and the Japanese have a peculiar kind of tree called sandalwood. It looks ordinary, except for the sap. When you strike the trunk of the sandalwood, it gives a sap. And the sap is so fragrant, it makes the axe that hurts it fragrant. You hurt it with a knife, the knife becomes fragrant. You hurt it with an axe or with a saw, the axe or the saw becomes fragrant with the fragrance of sandalwood. Sandalwood is the odor of many of our soaps. Sandalwood is even used as incense in some Hindu temples. The mystery of sandalwood is this. It leaves a fragrance on the axe that hurts it. That is the mysterious mercy of God. We have hurt Him, but instead of threatening us, He has given us the sap, the sweet odor of mercy. We have hurt Him, we have attacked Him, but in spite of that, there is no revenge there is no threat, only a fragrance on the axe that hurts it. The name of that sandalwood tree is Jesus Christ. The name of that axe is our sins. And the name of the holder of that axe is you and me. How beautiful God's mercy is. It leaves a fragrance on the sinner who has hurt him. It leaves a fragrance on the soldier who has pierced his side. It leaves a fragrance on the hands that hammered the nail on these hands. It leaves a fragrance on the hands that struck him with scourges. It leaves a fragrance on the hands that crowned him with thorns. Beautiful mercy. And if you can learn the power and beauty of that mercy, you will also find happiness that no world, no one, nothing can ever give you. Because the peace that the Lord gives, the mercy that the Lord gives, is one and unique. But it is yours to take. You have received that fragrance, share that fragrance. You have received mercy, show mercy. You have seen the face of the mercy of the Father, be the face of the mercy of the Father to everybody. You know what will happen? You will be happy again. And you will be able to smile at life. You will be able to smile at your enemies and be able to say, God is good and He is good all the time.